Good morning, YouTube. Geezer and the gang here. Uh, we're going to leave this little park kind of in a hurry. Uh, we had a major thunderstorm last night. Lots and lots of rain. That little river right there that we've had the pleasure of camping next to. When we got here, you couldn't see the river from here. It was down, down in that little valley. And you had to kind of walk over to the edge to even see it. And now it's coming out of the bank. And uh, we've heard that this river has a tendency to flash flood. We're going to get out of here. There's another storm cell coming in. And uh, it could get real ugly. So it's time to go. This was a really nice place to stay. It's just the city park here in Baxter Springs. Ten bucks, water and electric, pit toilets, no dump station. But for ten bucks, it was really nice. In fact, we really had thought about staying another night here. But uh, with that river coming up and uh, and storms on the way, uh, we're just not going to do that. So one of the first things we got to do today is find some place to dump the tanks. We're getting pretty full. Let's go see what we can find. Well, as we leave Baxter Springs, I have to admit to some major egg on my face. Uh, a couple of things that I thought were here are apparently not. I've got the wrong town. That's just part of uh, traveling with a geezer. So, sometimes we uh, <laughs> Sometimes we have brain farts, but we're back on, getting back on Route 66 and uh, heading west, which is the objective. Like I said, you never know what might happen when there's a geezer at the wheel. I'll get back with you. We've just entered Miami, Oklahoma. Saw this, kind of cool. Old cop car with mail bondsman information on it. <laughs> Hope that doesn't set the tone for Miami, Oklahoma. We'll see. We stopped here in downtown Miami to take a look at this beautiful 1929 mission style theater, the Coleman Theater. This thing is gorgeous. We can't really go inside, but we can certainly admire the outside, and it's just spectacular. I, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to do it any kind of judge justice with video. section of the old, old Route 66 called the Nine Foot Road. I've had to delete the audio from this clip. The wind noise was just dominant. You couldn't hear anything. The story is that back in the day when they paved this section of road, they only had enough money to pave half of it. So they had to decide whether to pave half of it as two lane or all of it as one lane and they did uh, the whole thing as the one lane. We're in uh, Benita or Benita, Oklahoma. Um, just hold off, I need to take a little break. Um, wow, my arms are really tired. It's so windy that like the last 20 miles has just been an absolute job. You gotta keep in mind that I used to be a truck driver, and uh, so you know, 
big vehicles, it's just second nature to me. It's not such a thing. And classy handles very, very nicely. I mean, I really enjoy driving this motorhome. I really do. But the wind here, uh, man, it was just a battle. So we're taking a little break. I just kind of wanted to pass that on to anybody that's thinking about taking this trip in a Class C. Uh, man, the wind here is terrible, and it, it is a battle to, to stay upright. Class A's might not have so much of a problem because they're so much heavier. We're going to take a break, have some lunch, let me calm down a little bit, and uh, we'll get back on the road. Seems like the winds have calmed down a little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna push on down the road. This we just pulled off to take a look at this. This is just some of the old Route 66 that just doesn't exist anymore. I don't even know what it is. The Avon Motel, it says on the sign. But, oddly enough, we have another old cop car with bail bondsman information on it. Been bad? Call Brad. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. I don't know if you'll see anything or not, but... We'll give it a try. There's some information on this totem pole. It says the world's largest totem pole, built by Ed Galloway, 1937 to 1948. It's 90 feet tall, 18 feet in diameter, with a 54 foot base. It's made from 100 tons of sand and rock, and 28 tons of cement, and 6 tons of steel. That's pretty cool. That was a really cool place to stop. Very interesting too, the lady that runs it. Uh, it's really nice, really friendly. Highly recommend this one, but it's back on the road. Welcome to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm holding it as steady as I can, but that wind is still rocking us around pretty good. Well, this is a new one on me. RVs and mobile homes all in the same place. I guess it's pretty common, but I've never seen it. Got a spot, we'll just go around to it. I am lost. 
Oh, right there. 